Imagine a world with no rules. You do what you want, anything goes. You take what you want, your things are fair game. It'll be nuts, right? Now, imagine a world where anything goes and you get to spend money that's not yours and you can buy something at the snap of your fingers and it gets immediately delivered to your door and then you get rewarded for doing so with more money that's not yours. And then you wake up and realize that there are actually rules and you're stuck working for an income that's not actually yours but it's owed to someone else and you have to keep doing this for the rest of your life just to be square. Welcome to today and the reality for most people if they don't learn to stop doing these things for don't do's with money up next. Hey guys, welcome back to Money Talks with me, Nabil Khan, where we get real in the conversation about money for you to build the right mindsets, habits, and education in your journey to financial freedom. Now, we are all at different points in our journey with money, and no matter where you are or what your perspective with money is, there are certain rules that apply to everyone when it comes to money. And if you say this is me to any one of these four things, guys, you have to stop doing these things right now, today, make some time and take the effort not to do these things because you will lose a lot of money in the long run and then it's, it's game over. So let's get into it. Number one, don't spend more than you earn. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, go figure, right? But it's absolutely true. And there's a simple explanation as to why it's not so easy to do. Think about it. If you got paid a stack of cash and had to make it through the month by actually handing out money for the things that you want and need and you watch that stack getting smaller and smaller, automatically people will become better savers. They'll keep some for the next month. They'll have detailed budgets. Now, why is that? Because you are physically present and accountable for that money at every single moment. It wasn't some plastic card where we got an SMS saying how much money is loaded on that for us once a month, followed by another SMS that's offering us 10 times the other amount as a loan, while our attention is on the next person's lifestyle that we wish we had. And oh, there's another ad that shows a holiday that's half the price. And before you know it, so... Pay attention to what's coming in and don't let what doesn't need to go out, go out. Learn how to budget, learn how to pay yourself first. If you are in any debts, guys, go watch the video on the channel, how to pay your debts off fast and change the nature and the course of your journey with money today because you can. So go watch it. On to number two. Don't ignore the difference between wants and needs. Food, housing, travel, and basic necessities are a must. And if you can afford any of those things, then be grateful because firstly, there are many people that can't even afford that. Now, if you're lucky enough to be able to afford those things and have control over the money that's coming in and going out of your lives, but are not on track with your savings goals, then you need to find out where the money is going. We got to ask ourselves, are we spending money on everything that comes our way? Because food is one thing, but extra snacks and drinks and branded coffee pods and eating out can easily be 4,000 Rand extra a month if you're not keeping track. Because here's the reality check, guys. Savings and investing with a purpose is literally the only way that you are going to last your years on this planet with any version of a comfortable lifestyle because that costs money. So go watch my video on the channel, are you going to win with money? You see, saving and investing with a goal and a purpose is actually a need for everyone. And eating out is actually a want. And you only find that realization when you actually have a plan or when it's too late. So on to number three. Don't use a credit card until you learn how to use it. Because someone offers it to you doesn't mean you actually have to take it or use it. If you have a debt sitting on your credit card that's sitting longer than a month without a plan, it shows you that you have spent more money than you actually have. 
Use a credit card for its advantages and not the money that they are offering you to spend if you don't have that money to back it because if you do that, you are going to create a huge weight in your life because of the interest charges and that habit of yours will lead you into a debt trap. So, on to number four. Don't rush purchases. This one, guys, will get you into a lot of trouble, not to mention more often than not, a lot of cash flow problems. Let's take a car as an example. You see, your car is giving you issues and you're used to spending 3,000 Rand on a small car, 600 Rand on fuel and 900 Rand on insurance. So that's 4,500 Rand. The fact that your car is giving issues justifies a replacement, right? Now, BMW has an amazing special, it's 100,000 Rand off a new car. And it kind of makes sense to upgrade to a safer car, a bigger car, and, you know, take that step to upgrade today to that 3 Series. That model is usually 500,000 Rand, but with a 100K discount, it's 400,000 Rand with a 30% balloon payment thing, and who cares about the interest rate, because the actual repayment is only 5899 per month, which is only about a thousand rand more than you're currently spending. It's not guys because it'll cost more to insure and it'll use more petrol and not to mention that balloon payment thing which is the extra hundred and twenty thousand rand that you still have to pay after you've paid off that car plus interest and then you're still stuck with driving that car at the cost of 8,400 rand a month for an extended period of time and it's losing value. Rather fix the car today for 10,000 Rand instead of committing to that crazy amount of money for such a long period of time and then still having that debt. It makes no sense, guys. Rather buy something that you can afford. Save up for the big expenses. I mean, the extra 4,000 Rand a month is an extra 50,000 Rand in your hands and could be a deposit for a new vehicle next year. You have to understand the opportunity of delay and the cost of rushing into decisions. And those are the rules. Now, here's the thing that you need to realize, guys. Companies exist to make a profit on you, on us, on all consumers. And they're literally spending billions to understand our behavior to do exactly that. Now, that doesn't mean that companies are bad or evil. Hell, you can invest in those very companies or even better yet, start your own company and change the trajectory of your life. But if you are just the person that lives to spend money without a plan, then you are going to be a victim of it all. Unless you take action and don't do the things we just discussed and take time today to make a plan to map out your journey to your financial freedom because guys here's the thing the only people that care about your money the most is yourself and this community here on money talks where everyone needs to win so do us all a favor guys and smash that like button and share this video to help one more person understand the rules of money and be part of this community don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, guys, and click that bell icon so you never miss a video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.